Hi guys, welcome to Snake Nook. Today we are going to put together a tub vivarium for a juvenile ball python. And because times are tough and we are on a budget, we wanna do this for $200 or less and that includes the price of the ball python. You're going to need a 113 quart tub. And if you purchase a juvenile ball python from PetSmart, Currently, they are going for $99, but please check their website for more accuracy. You will need a few supplies. Here they are at a glance. And you will need a drill, guys, because you have to drill holes around the tub. And once you do that, you definitely want to smooth them out. You will also need to drill some holes on the lid itself, so don't forget to do that and just uh, make sure that you wipe the uh, tub and the lid clean uh, when you are finished preparing it. is clean you can turn it over so that you can place the heat mat and it does come with an adhesive side however the adhesive side isn't always very strong nor does it last very long so you can always use duct tape um, to reinforce it so this is your second tool to use number one you needed the drill number two you're going to need some duct tape if you prefer to reinforce the heat mat so you can do just these two sides or you can continue and uh, secure the entire perimeter of the heat mat. So we're using um, duct tape and all of the four sides. <laughs> So the next thing to do is lay out the substrate. We use newspaper. We receive the Sunday paper anyway, so using it as substrate in the vivariums allows us to repurpose the newspaper and you can use two layers and a third layer where the warm hide is. So using newspaper allows for easy cleanup because when your snake pees or poops, it's very easy to see. And then when you go in there, all you do is gather up all of the newspaper, trash it, and lay out some fresh layers again. So now we are adding a hide to the warm side and a hide to the cool side. And these are really the only two things in the vivarium that need to stay put. Anything else you add in here, you can always move around. Hi, Summer! He's already hiding in his third hidey, which is a hollow log. He just loves it. And so you will also, of course, need to add a water bowl. And you can always change things around. Like I can move the uh, that third hidey and the water bowl so things don't have to just stay exactly where they are except for your warm and cool hide. Also, you should add plant decor just to have a little more clutter, especially when the ball python is young. They definitely need to have some clutter in order to feel safer. So this is it guys pretty much um we're only going to add one more piece to the vivarium and we're pretty much done <music> and so this is it guys the tub vivarium setup and the juvenile ball python everything you see in here for just under 200 dollars Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and please like. Thank you so much for staying with us. Y'all have a good one. Bye.